Let's do altitudes one at a time. Like I'll do it, but then I'll hide um, all the previous ones, all the circles from the previous ones, which is hard for you to do on paper. Um, that's why you, when you draw these, you need to draw things lightly. Um, because these are all going to get on top of each other. So again, an altitude is from the vertex perpendicular to this side. So we need to draw a perpendicular over here. Well, that's easy. That's just two circles. The problem though is where do I put those two circles so that my perpendicular goes right to here? Well, that's solved by drawing one big circle that comes down to this side. It can hit this side anywhere, but it's got to hit it twice because I got to draw twins here. So there's one place and there's the other place. So now I have to draw twins here and here because twin circles are going to make a perpendicular. And if I draw them twins, they will be right in the middle of these two dots. And the right in the middle of those two dots goes right up to that dot. So draw some twins. Boom. They're going to make it this big and put it there. Again, the reason we draw circles, two circles, is to find an intersection. And then we draw a line going through there. So along this line is the altitude, which actually goes from right here up to there. Okay? That's simple, but we really want to hide those. Um, so I'm going to come over here and hide the circles. I'm going to leave my line in there because that's the altitude I want. But I also want to get rid of this axis. Okay. So now I want you to draw an altitude from, I need to change this up a little bit. Yeah, let's go over here. From this vertex over to this side. So that means I need a circle from here down to here. Or over to here, actually. Circle from here over to here. It's got to hit this side twice. Well, da, 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 da. If I hit it there, you can't really see, but it does hit it twice. So we have to do something here. Boom. Now. Some people aren't going to like this. It's hitting this line right here. But it's also hitting it out here. Like we need to extend the line. Why aren't you giving me my tools? There we go. I don't want that to be orange. I want it to be that. And I want it to be dashed. Okay. So this circle from here down to here is hitting here, and it's hitting over here. So here and here is where I draw my twins. Again, big enough so that they're going to overlap. Find the intersection. Draw a line. Um, solid, though, is where I want to go. All right. So let's hide those circles. So this orange one is one of our altitudes. This red one is this altitude. And now we need an altitude going from here, the left dot, over here to that dot. Which means draw one circle. Well, let's go blue, purple. Over to here. Again, it's kind of hard to see how it hits, how it's hitting too. We will see though. I'm gonna tweak this a little bit. That didn't help me. Well. Maybe this will. You see it's hitting here also. 
Again, that's what's nice about GeoGebrero. I can just click anywhere on the thing and it'll find me where it's hitting. It's hitting there and it's hitting there. So that's where I draw twins. Find intersections. Jojo is also nice because I can change things. Um, R through Q. Hide some circles. Why is R through Q red? I want it to be purple. Okay. So we drew one big circle here. Found two dots down here to draw twin circles, which made this nice altitude. We drew one big circle from here down to here. Found where it hit here twice. Drew twin circles there. Got this nice red altitude. Drew one big circle from here over to this line. Found where it hit the line twice. Drew twin circles and then drew that altitude. Right there where it kind of says Q, which actually is, needs to just move. Um, that thing right there is the ortho center. Magical.